Enterprise Mick here from Oztrax. Just a bit of an update, I sheared off that grub screw I installed a couple of weeks ago. So here I'll have a quick fix and um, yeah, let's get to it and I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, so what you'll need, you'll need a set of Allen keys. A set of screw extractors to get the sheared one out. And a shifter to use on the screw extractor. And then a set of grub screws here. So I've picked these ones up from Bunnings. They're just a 6mm grub screw. They should work. Haven't tried it yet, but they're fairly cheap. It's like $3.45. So let's give it a shot and see how we go. So I'll show you what's happened to the grease nipple. So just here, the grease nipple is sheared off. This happened yesterday and it sheared off on the bash plate just here. As you can see, it's hooked it and pulled it down and bent it. And you know, you, you could pull that off or move that bash plate over, but I'll show you the uh, grub screw technique. So obviously, you want to put some grease in it, which I'd already done. Um, so we'll remove this grease nipple and I'll put a grub screw in and that should be a good fix. Alright, so we'll need a hammer as well. So, that's the one thing I forgot. So grab your smallest screw extractor. Line it up in the hole. Give it a good whack in there. Hopefully it didn't hurt anyone's ears. And all I did was just put the shifter on here and give it a turn and hopefully it should come out. I need to give it in, push it in there a bit more I think. Alright, try that. So for the cars driving past. Yeah, let's see. Can I get it out this time? thinking about it come on nope a bit more sometimes they're a bit tight in there so hopefully this will let it come out now don't make this easy here we go Yep, she's coming. Okay. So, good old screw extractor. Gets that broken grease nipple out of there. And she's out. Half of it fell off. It was split, so. There's the other half, that's what's on there. So that's that one well and truly done. Right, now, if you haven't greased your uh, tail shaft, now will be the time to do it in this joint as per my previous video. Don't do any more than three to four pumps or you'll hydro lock it. I've said in my previous video, I actually haven't shown anyone how to do that yet, but when it's time to do it, next service, I'll definitely show you. Alright, so my next suggestion is, because these don't, aren't tapered, is a little bit of thread locker on the actual grease nipple. Just that much, that's all we need, maybe a little bit, and wind her in, and the grease nipple on the grub screw. I'm doing well today, so, like so, should be enough, maybe a little bit more, because these aren't tapered, um, it won't sit in there 100% tight, so, you can get longer ones, but yeah, I'm just trialling this at the moment, these were uh, M6 by 6mm, but probably a 10mm might be a better idea, and yeah, that's my little fix guys, so, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, so the extra tools I didn't list the start of here was some thread locker and a hammer. And your Allen key size is a size 3 on those. So, thanks for watching. So, yeah, the extra tools, the hammer, 
and some Loctite. So I've just got the blue thread locker which is like a medium strength. So if you'd like to see more videos feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, check out some of my trip videos, they're pretty good. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.